Hello everyone, today we are going to be making the single, the elongated single crochet stitch. It looks like this and I think it's perfect for your uh, blankets and probably even cardigans and if you like making dishcloths, this can also be a perfect stitch for that. So the trick here is to have, it's, it's basically a single crochet that is um, chain stitches in between. So it's a single crochet chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch. And you want to do that until you get to the end of your project. So it, it's literally just a very simple and beginner friendly stitch that can be perfect for very soft blankets. So what you want to do here is to make your slip knot and this can be in any way you deem fit. Um, I just make like making it this way. And you want to make chains which are an odd number because you want to start here at the beginning with a single crochet and end with another single crochet. But if you look at the actual pattern of the stitch, it's a single crochet and a chain, single crochet and a chain. So it is a two by two um, stitch, but it does require you to leave with a single crochet on your first um row here because then it would not be a straight project if you don't end with a single crochet so it's just better to leave with an odd number so what i'm going to do is to chain 12 uh, plus the one extra which makes it an odd number and then have one more chain because i'm making a single crochet stitch so this is 2 4 6 8 10 12 13 which is just the perfect number and then one more because it's a single crochet so you want to then go into your your not the first stitch but the the second one so you will go in hook on yarn yarn over pull through one loop yarn over pull through two loops and you want to then make one chain and you leave one chain here go to the third chain you go hook on yarn yarn over pull through one loop yarn over pull through two again one chain leave one chain here you go to hook on yarn yarn over pull through one loop yarn over pull through two loops so you continue with this i'm just going to meet you at the end here okay so when you get to the end of your project this doesn't really look much right now because it's still the first row but when you get to the end of your project you want to make two chains because you want to avoid going to your very first chain because you are looking to create that um, elongated crochet single crochet so when you look at when you just study this pattern here the single crochets look slightly longer than your normal single crochet so you want to create that illusion of a longer single crochet so this is why you want to go on to your next row um, onto a chain and not necessarily the actual stitch itself the actual single crochet so you want to make two chains here go into the gap between the single the two single crochets where you made your chain in your previous row so you go into that um, yarn over pull through two loops again you make one chain for this stitch here and you go into your stitch again your 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 this this hole here or the loop here i'm not sure what you want to call it and you will then yarn over pull through one loop one yarn over pull through two loops and you will do the same thing again yarn over pull through one loop one yarn over pull through two loops and you go on with your project until you reach your desired size so let's just proceed with this so that you just see how it it, it will how the outcome will be and over pull through one loop and over pull through two so as you can see now this created that elongated single crochet so it seems as if for, for each and every single crochet that you make it looks slightly longer than your normal single crochet and that is basically how you make the elongated slash moss stitch <laughs> 